Good morning, you're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning at Domatex in Hanover, Germany, I'm with Jan Vergoat, the CEO with IVC, and Michelle Vermette, the president of Mohawk's commercial and international business. You guys doing okay? Oh, we're doing great. Thank you. Well, great to see you, Kemp. It's good to be here. On the lighter side, we're going to go all halfway around the world to find out some major news around Mohawk's next expansion plans. We'll get to that in just a minute. Jan, if you will, first, tell us a little background with you. You've been with IVC since uh, 2007, right? Yes, I joined in 2007, making a tandem with Philip Alcan, the then shareholder, and we decided to invest heavily in the company and making it the fastest growing vinyl operation in Europe, which it is. And since 2015, we were lucky enough to become part of the Mohawk organization, and we are speeding up the investment level uh, to great heights, and uh, we try to double the business as fast as possible. Uh-huh. Okay. So you have big news. M- Mohawk is going to build a modular carpet tile plant in Belgium. So tell us a little bit about that decision. Well, part of the history is also a little personal. I spent... Uh, uh, more than 10 years in the carpet business in Europe and I was happy to meet uh, my new Moho colleagues being world experts in, in the field and we decided that we wanted uh, to go in carpet tile together in Europe and leverage the Mohawk know-how, the Mohawk designs, the Mohawk skills into Europe. So I'm very enthusiastic to have such great sh- support and we'll use the uh, IVC organization to, to grow that business as quickly as possible. Actually, to comment on that, this is almost the inverse of what's happened in the United States in that with Mohawk's acquisition of IVC, they've been able to spread the presence of IVC very quickly with the massive sales force they have, and you're going to do the inverse of that here, right? Absolutely. That's the incredible strength of being in a large group and being able to exchange know-how and build synergies this is very exciting for us to be able to to give and take from that group. Mm-hmm. And this decision to put it in Belgium, you actually had a building there that you had moved some equipment out that used to make laminate, and uh, that's uh, where you're going to put the factory, right? Yes, indeed, and we have a six-acre uh, space, and that space is uh, large enough for us to reach uh, over 30% market share in Europe, so we have some way to go, but uh, we, this is a long-term decision mm-hmm. with a nice infrastructure uh, behind it. Now, what can you tell me about the investment, the scale, the timetable on it? We'll be producing uh, by the end of uh, this year, and I do cannot disclose uh, the investment amount exactly, but we are in the tens of millions. Okay. And I take it that since this will be one of the newest modular carpet tile plants built in the world, it will probably be some of the more uh, innovative and efficient equipment, right? Of course, uh, this is a great opportunity to build a top-notch factory using the latest technology in every aspect of the business. And it's exciting to be able to tap the know-how of, of the Mohawk top experts on that. So it's going to be a great, great plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now let's talk real quick about design for a minute. Uh, how does the carpet designs of what sells in Europe differ from what we make and sell in the United States? Well, you know, Europe even doesn't exist. It's 28 countries, different languages, so the taste is different everywhere. But we can say that at the entry level, there's much more level loop. Then at the middle level, there's more design. Especially in the middle and the higher level, we'll we'll be using the great Mohawk designs to to tackle the market. Mm -hmm. Uh, So the higher the level, the more international the designs are. And from a backing system perspective, because backing is such an important part of modular carpet tile, will you have both the PVC and the non-PVC type backing? Yes, of course. So uh, in the top segment, uh, we will uh, be using the the non-PVC backings. Uh, But in Europe, there's also a a very large bitumen type backing. And so we will have all all the backings at the market once, but we want to develop uh, the non-PVC backing as fast as possible. Michelle, this is an audio interview. People can't see the scale and 
and scope of Mohawk's presence at Domatex, and I'll have you mentioned for a second, as I walk around here, especially in Building 6, you have major footprint. As most people know, when you come to a European show, the spaces are bigger because there's more hospitality involved, and uh, people sit down for long conversations, but you have IVC here, you have Unilin, you have Quickstep, Balterra, you have presence in... in, in Leo, Pergo, Mohawk Home, and many more. So, yes, we have a significant presence and continues to grow as the company continues to grow across the platforms yeah and you actually got a, several people from the u.s that are here now right correct and it's part of this collaboration we have as you know many of our businesses collaborate just like it's a, this example right here where we bring best practices and exchange ideas which are always trying to push to make sure we have the best here in every major show and there'll be some of our european counterparts will be at surfaces also next week also, most people know you for the hats you wear around the commercial side of the business, but this international piece that you also manage is a just as an important piece to Mohawk, right? Correct, and it's all about relationships. You know, this collaboration is based on me and Jan talking to each other and talking possibilities. He saw what we did in the U.S., and I saw what he was doing here, and us collaborating and say, hey, this would be a great play to run. And, you know, my role here is to support him, provide our learnings and what things we did well and didn't do so well, and it'll help him be successful here and provide him all the resources we can as the Mohawk Group. And uh, I'm very excited what we can accomplish here. All right, so I know I'm going to probably see you in Las Vegas in a couple of days, so this is a busy time of travel, isn't it? January is a very busy time. It's a lot of good things happening, excited for 2017, and uh, yes, you will see me in Vegas for sure. So, All right. Gentlemen, it's good to spend time with both of you. Again, been talking to Jan Vergoat, the CEO of IVC, and Michelle Vermet, the president of Mohawk Group Commercial and International, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloridaLi.net.